Hello everyone, and uh, this is Mon PJC, and I'm here in my steampunk world, and I'm recording an episode here on Twitch, which I'll be putting up on my main channel at some point or another uh, for you all to watch. And this is pretty experimental, to be honest, to sort of like see how things go, see what happens. I'm just checking to see that I've got my live feed up. I do appear to do so. Open the chat panel. And I guess what I should actually do is actually let everyone on Twitter know that I'm actually here. So you can just sit here and watch me for the minute. Watch well, this empty. Oh, let's look at something interesting. Look at that. Now watch to see when you can see the little red stones tweet. Twinkle up and down. Uh, so what did we put? Live now on Twitch. I do know how to spell it. Twitch.tv slash Mon PJC. And of course you know exactly where, where, where I am because you're here watching me right now. So there we go. I've put that up. And I'm going to switch over to here. And with any luck, someone might join the channel and start watching what I'm doing. So, what am I going to be doing? So, what am I going to do? First of all, I'm going to eat some steak. Um, I've actually been collecting tons of resources for outside. And I'm going to be building some stuff. Some exciting stuff. So I want lots of like granite and different materials that I can get. I don't want earth though. I don't want that. I do uh, my stones down here. Uh, so let's grab a couple of stacks of that. Okay. So let's wander. Where am I building this? I'm building it outside. So let's wander up through the castle and these stairs that still haven't been finished really should get the builders in to finish the job All right Dave that's Dave for anyone who doesn't know and let's go and check out the building work we've been doing so there's not been any videos up at the moment showing this this is a, the big mansion house which is alongside the castle and that's primarily being designed such that this is where our Lord's going to live. And then that's obviously his castle keep. But round here, down here, we've got the outlines of what's going to be our massive market. So I've started off by putting a pathway in. So I'm going to explain a little bit of this first, just before I go too far. So let's, let's dump these materials off in this chest, like so. So you can see here, there's this pathway that comes down from the main gate up there, curves around through here, and then we've got these torches which show this main avenue. So this is all going to be market trading area down here. And this is the sort of primitive outline I've got for my buildings. And that strange noise around here somewhere is a llama, I think. Yeah, I think there's a llama around here somewhere. So this is going to be the main pathway. There's going to be some little paths off to the side here, left and right. But then I'm going to have this large market area here with some stalls scattered around and maybe a meeting place in the centre here. Obviously, I'm not going to be building this all tonight because, as you can see, I've already done quite a lot of building already. So, for tonight, it's working on these buildings in the corner here. So, I've got a pretty good idea what it is I'm going to build. They're going to look like trading homes. And I'm sort of following on the steampunk idea of using some cobble and I'm going to use this shape to the roofs again and I'm also going to try and mix in some acacia wood uh, primarily because I think it looks like copper and I'm just going to have a bit of my coffee while I'm here.
because otherwise my voice is going to go very dry when I'm this talking. Right, now, I have somewhere here in my squeaky room a book. And I'm just flicking through the pages. I know this is riveting to watch, isn't it? And you just can't believe you, you turn me into watch a stream like this. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And I've now got to move everything on my desk. You'll probably hear everything rattling around. A ton of 5Ps I've got laying on my desk. Don't ask. Um, anyone got a good use for 5Ps? Well, other than spend them. Right, so what we're going to do is use this spruce wood. I did loads of work building a farm over there. I've been digging loads of... this. I've got, look, this awesome axe. Unbreaking 3, Mending and Efficiency 4. That is uber good, that is. Unfortunately, my armour is rubbish. Look, I've just got rubbish armour. But I couldn't be bothered. Um, so spruce wood, cobblestone and... Yep, we're going to be using dodgy dorite. Dodgy dorite, I've never called it that before. That's quite good actually. Okay, so spruce wood. So we're going to start with this. Now each, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work on one at the end here to start with. So I want three high for each floor of the building. And then obviously the thing I always end up forgetting, which is the the floor up here. So I want a layer there, which is going to be where the floor is. And then obviously I want another three. One, two, three. From that bit. And then I think from my drawing I've got here. That's one, two, three. I think I've got another one for like the roof. Uh, this is going to hurt a lot if I keep doing this, isn't it? Oh, okay. I think my feather falling boots are going to run out quite quickly if I carry on building like this. So, what I'm going to do, riveting TV again, is build these like this. Uh, and I should be able to reach from there, shouldn't I? Yeah, look at that. Oh. If only if I'd done that one first. Oh, look at this, like a pro. Now this, this is what you're tuned in for. I mean, where else are you gonna find high quality spruce log placement? Look at that, it, it's like I, I've, I've played Minecraft before. And I've even dropped down somewhere where it's not quite so high. So I'll use earth up there. But actually what I'll do is I'll build it as I go along. Okay, so they're pretty tall. But the idea is this first area, these buildings are going to be pretty tall. And it's quite narrow. Because obviously there's not a lot of space for this tight area. So you've got to like imagine these really towering over buildings here now. So the next material I want to use in here, I didn't really need all of them. Let's ditch a couple of those. And cobble. I didn't bring much cobble, did I? I'm going to have to go and get some. So I want cobble round here, but I want to think about where I'm going to put the windows. So windows are obviously going to be one high here. Um, I don't know whether I want to... I'm just going to... I'm going to blag this to start with. And I'm just going to do something like that. And then we're going to want a doorway in here. Like that. This will probably want a window in it. Like so. And let's go in here. And I'll make one of these a window. I'll make that. I mm, don't want that to be a window. I'll make that one a window. And then this is between the buildings, so that's going to be blocked off like that. So that's the inside. And then, because obviously we've got this wall of earth behind us, we'll just block that off like that. That's pretty good. So the next thing is, let's put some... 
Where would I put steps? Because I'm going to want the floor up there. And I want to put spruce along there. So what I do is if I do that and that and that and that, there we go. What we do is we'll make it look like there's these wooden beams that sort of run through the building like that. There we go. Now I want a floor up there. And I'm going to be crafty with this because what I'm going to do is I've got some oak. Yeah, let's use the oak. So mobs won't spawn on the slabs. So if I make my interior wood out of oak, but I do it like this. Now, where would I put my stairs? Uh, we want one, two, three there. So a gap there. Bottom floor there. So by putting the slabs at half, at the bottom half, nothing will go up there. And then let's go and use some more oak. I think four blocks should be enough. Make some steps. If anyone's really clever, they'll notice that I'm using a, uh, a mod pack. Uh, no, a data pack, which allows me to place or put wood in so that I get eight steps, not six. There we go. That looks like steps. Stairs. It's a bit funny the windows around here in the corner, but that'll do. Then we go. I put one too many in. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to leave it clear on the one below, aren't you? That's it. Right. So we then go up here, and we've got first floor. This window's going to be a little bit tad lower, isn't it? Like that. Hmm. I think that's good. Right. Door right. Now, the question is, smooth or rough? Do I use it like this? Where it's got more of a textured wall to it? Or do I use it like that? That's actually quite nice. That's a lot whiter than the, um, the poopy bird poo version. So, yeah, we're going to upgrade and we're going to use, because I'm using the new textures, which is, what's it called, uh, 3.1, the ones that are going to be coming out. How am I, how have I, did I just pick up four and have I lost a piece of door, right? Surely I picked up a stack. I'm going to have to watch that back now an odd number. I do not have OCD. Thanks. Right, so we're going to use door right. And again, we want to make... Now, uh, up there, I want to have big windows all the way around. This is sort of like very brickworky type stuff. So what I'm going to do is put these in like this. This is going to be a back wall again. So once again, I don't care about a window on this side because it's the back of the buildings. This is an interior wall, so nothing goes on there. But these ones are going to have big windows like that. And that's my only problem, is can't really see out of them. But for now, I'll leave it like that. That would be nice to see out of there. Because otherwise I'm going to get mobs spawning in here. That's the problem. Oh yeah, that would look quite cool there really, wouldn't it? Yeah, where you could sort of like stand here and look down the centre of all the shops through the windows. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a thing, isn't it? probably going to have to do that. I suppose what I could do is put carpet down up here. That would be the way to do it, wouldn't it? So if I did this, I've run out. Um, 
I do that and then I'll put carpet down yeah and then this is just a one step down on the edge there which doesn't look quite so bad yeah that's that's all right that works I don't know what's going to be in here of course but that looks pretty good right roof roof we want to do the same again with our logs because obviously we're carrying the theme all the way round like so so that should look good on the outside and do I want to do because I did look at putting stairs up into like an attic but I don't think I'd actually use stairs I think what I might do is use ladders because I think you'd go into the loft via ladders and I've got a I've brought a stack of birch wood just for this sort of thing because I'm not using birch wood in the area but the the reason I've brought birch wood is because I can use it to make loads of sticks that's the key thing and it just makes my life a lot easier than using the wood like uh, the spruce and stuff so yep yeah, so it's getting a bit of a look going to it probably doesn't look that exciting at the moment so we have a loft like that and I don't have to worry about the loft with the slabs because I'm not going to be looking out or if I am I can do less I guess um, it sort of makes sense to yeah I think I'll do that yeah so I'm just thinking in my head that if I use slabs up here am I going to be like getting the whole mobs or stop the mobs spawning and it's probably going to be dark in the loft and I don't care about looking out a window really that's okay so we then go up here and we're then in the loft space that's cool so the roof aspect again is going to have these are going to be the, the windows on this end now I've got to think about cobble so I need to make some cobble stairs. I really should. One of the things I wish is that I know you need a crafting bench, but really, do we really need to go and get a crafting bench and make stuff from it all the time? I'm going to need to go and get a load of cobble. And I'm hoping I've got some in the system that I don't have to worry about. So the roof's going to have to hang over by one, which means I don't have anything to climb down there with. I'm so well organised, it's unbelievable. Right, so what we're going to do is a hanging over bit of wood like a uh, brick like that, that can drop down. So we want step step, but that'd be quite sharp. So what I actually want is I do this stone stone step. I've just used the wrong thing. Goodness sake! There we go. One of them, and then we want one there, one there. Is that the middle? That is. So we want like that, and then we're going to put that in there, and then we'll do the same uh, down on the other side, and that should have a bit of a, yeah, it's got a bit of a flangey element there that goes up, and then it sort of starts to curve over at the top there. That's the idea. So we can put that step there. And then did I do two down there? Yeah, do two for now because I'm going to modify that slightly. Do one there, one there. And it'd be really nice if I could, there was a way of like 
putting these on from down there. There probably is. I just don't know how to do it. I'll get out of the way of it before I cut it. There we go. So that's like that. Now it looks a bit sharp in there. What I'm going to do is this. So take these out of these corners, like that, and not take them out of that corner because that looked daft. You'll see what I'm doing. See, just doing this just gives a little bit of roundness to it. See, that's pretty cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put door right on the inside of this wall. It's going to be interesting because I've got this here. But what I could do, let's think about this. So if the door right is here, so if I place that there, it'll go up one. See, this way, it will look like it's... It follows the same theme over there where the wall, you can see the brickwork stands out away from the wall. And that's what I'm really trying to follow over here. Is that by doing that, I mean, it makes the loft really small, but obviously this loft, I can make go all the way around if I wanted. And the loft isn't really important to the game. And we're going to have a wooden roof attached to this. But if I go down here and look at it from the outside, let's run over here and turn around and look, and they go, oh, look at that. Oh, that's not bad. I think they should be stone on the corners there. And I also think that should overhang the end of the wall to give it more depth. Hmm. Yep, right, pickaxe is out. We're going to go and chop all that down. We'll make that bit of wood. And that stone. And we'll pop back up there and we'll cut that down. And we'll do this again. But we'll do it one block out. Because that will also allow us to put that stone... these want to go, it want to, wants to be out here like that, that's where it wants to be, and then that will make it look like it overlaps a bit better as well. I'll just grab this stuff back, I might be able to, oh, I'll call that one, oh, missed that one. Okay, so I don't think it's possible to put these down there. No, I didn't think it was. We can't get at it to do it that way. So what was it? What did we have? We had one there. One, two, step. Step there, one there, one there, and then no, that's that's wrong, isn't it? That was com that's completely wrong. I'm a professional, I do not know what I'm doing. I think these were taller, weren't they? They were like this. Yeah, that's it. It's all the experiment. You can see I've, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so not. It's no wonder there's no one following me really on my YouTube channel. No, that's not true. I do have people following me on my YouTube channel. And they're wonderful people. I love them. All. All 71. There, one there, one there, like so. This is going to look so much better. That goes in there, that goes in there. We'll go down and tidy up. I'll get carried away. Where do all the stones go that I cut down? 
that's better. Right, I've got to get... I think that's too high to jump. Let's have a look. Yeah. Just one too high. Look at that. That was good, wasn't it? I hope you were impressed by that. That's not bad. Actually, these ones could actually be upturned ones as well, and they would actually then show the wood on the inside of what we're actually doing. So just a little bit of experimentation here. Like so. Just a bit of live building work. That's better. And then back to our door, right? And this will actually look a bit better on the inside now as well, because it'll be easy to put up. Yeah, because this will just go there like that then. This will all be wood along here to make the roof. Let's go check that out again. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That's a lot better roof. Now, obviously I've got to do something about uh, the sides of the walls and putting some bits on there. And I'm actually wondering just like change the texture up a little bit in some places. It's amazing how cold my tea, my tea, my coffee goes. I'm doing stuff like that. So yeah, what I'm what I'm thinking, what about this? What about this? Let's knock that out of there. And that that one would that look too symmetrical? It will look symmetrical if I do that. And then what I'm planning on doing is this. There you go, see it just breaks up that texture a little bit. And if I do the same for the one in the middle, it just makes it look like the way the place has been built is it's a bit more higgledy piggledy the way it's being put together with the overlaps. I did not belch on stream. Just like to point that out. It did not just happen. Okay, so that looks good. So roof. Roofing so far has also been out of spruce. So I need to do the same. It's funny how I left a load of earth behind because I thought I wasn't going to need it. Right, ladders don't need, don't need that, don't need that. Need a load of cobble from somewhere. I'm actually going to start moving some of my tools and bits off the bar here to make my life easier. And spruce, I don't want that. What I do want is some spruce stuff. So let's keep two stacks of that and then let's make a load of them. That'd be good going because we've got a lot of roofs to do. That might actually be enough. That's a good start. So, uh, do I want to get some earth? Because earth's really quick and easy. Oh, it would be so nice if we had scaffolding. Now there's an awesome idea in the game. Scaffolding. That would be so cool. I'm also trying to work out what's the quickest way back to... Um... Oh, there's a chest here. What's in this one? Aha! Look at that. That'll do. Building supplies. Oh, that looks quite good from there. Awesome. 
almost impressed with myself. I don't want to get too carried away. Um, how am I going to do this? Or maybe when I should build this, I should just build it with a layer of dirt all the way around so that I can, it makes it easier to work with. Then I can just take it out a bit later on. That could be a doable thing. Ooh, Minecraft music. I haven't heard this for a bit. I do like having the music on in the game. It's it's quite therapeutic. All right. Um, right, we're going to be cunning here and not fall off the roof. <laughs> this is so going to go badly wrong. Right. Okay. Because what I should be able to do is just shimmy along. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Like so. I'm glad I didn't turn around that wood at the top here. In fact, I've done this and I've covered it up. Hmm, okay. That might get a bit of an alteration then. Because it almost seems like a waste of resources. Because oaks... It's not that oak's expensive. Uh, the, the spruce wood's expensive because you just grow trees. It's just the fact you can make so many more blocks out of that. So I consider it as something that's expensive. Right, so if I do the same here, just shimmy along like that. That builds my roof up. Ah, this is going to be interesting because I'm going to need something to stop mobs spawning on the top. Does snow stop mob spawning? I don't know. Right. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Just like that. And we're going to drop down here. Use the same trick to jump up on the edge of our roof. Like so. Let me go flying off the end in a minute. Therapeutic, especially once you've got all the materials in place. It's not so bad. Actually, this is probably an ideal place to jump off. Let's go and look at that from over here. Ah, oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's definitely a waste of resources on the inside there with the um, oak blocks. Oak. Spruce. It's spruce. Let's get the wording right. Um, might just put some... What's it look like on the inside? I guess the inside aesthetics are maintained by having it like this. We need a torch. Yeah. I think I'll leave it purely, in, purely for the fact that it, it leaves a nice light skirting board up here in the loft. Not that anyone really wants a skating board in the loft, but see, I could use steps on the inside there, but they're cool. That's again, I don't know if that's a bit too expensive for the wood. In fact, I could probably take them out completely. No, I could have a, no, I'll leave them as they are. That's fine. And I'm going to just leave this stuff open and stick a torch in to just light it up as we go round. I don't think that's too bad. Cool, right, so while I'm up here, I'm going to just do a bit of mapping out. I think that's that one. Yep, that's that one. And then we've got one, two, three, four. 
goes to there. Uh, one, two, three. I think that's the center line there. I just want to put some center lines in with the earth, just make it a bit easier walking around when I get up here. Because obviously I've got to put all this wood in place. Well, this goes a lot longer further than I thought. Let's go. Also give me an idea Oop. of what it's going to look like. Yeah, see it's going to be quite closed in. So I'm going to work on getting all this framework in place. I think that's the key thing. Right, so let's get loads and loads of this. And get this stuff out of my way. Keep the earth on me because I won't want that. Uh, I think three of them is probably enough. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pillar up all of these. And I'm just going to pillar them all up and I'll alter that a bit later on. So that'll make life a little bit easier. Why didn't I just do them all in a group like I did before? Because I'm being stu stupid and not looking at what I'm doing. I risk losing that one now, don't I? Do that one first. So clever that I shouldn't there be a blog in the corner there? Okay, because you're gonna walk down here and you're gonna go, why isn't there a great big log in the corner there? I don't mind along the back wall. That's not so bad. But gonna need one there. This one, I did that. So it's actually more efficient to where did that go? To do it as that as the last one. Look at that, like a pro. Cool. This could only be more interesting if, if somebody had come and actually joined my channel and was typing in chat. Because then I could be talking to you right now and just think about it. You could have an exclusive time talking to me in chat about anything you wanted. And that would be really cool because, you know, one day I might be like this massive YouTuber type person. And you'll be like, oh my god, I remember when I was exclusively on my own talking to Mon PJC. Of course, it could also be that in years to come you go, I was exclusively in a channel with Mon PJC, and everyone goes, who? <laughs> it's a possibility. It's very true. Right, so I can get away with building these round the outside. And these walls round like that.
dee, 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 dee. Is that going to go across there? Yeah, I suppose it is, isn't it? Because it's a corner. Like so. You see what I mean by this just eats up your wood supply. Which is like loads and loads of trees that I grew to do this. And they're just like demolishing my supplies by digging away by using it all up like this. Yeah, just gone through like two or three stacks, which means I'm going to be using an awful lot more wood to come, yeah. Grab another two. And anyone remember how I get up there? <laughs> uh, what an idiot. Right. So what I do next is I'm going to put the wood round at this level. <laughs> oh dear God. Anyone would think I was intelligent. Actually, do I want to put those in there? Am I overdoing it? Because I didn't put them through the middle in here, did I? No. There's way too many. Right, they're coming out. Saving wood. That can go in there. This one can be all the way around because it's in a corner. Like so, but we're not going to build in there. But we're building these ones. Yeah. Saves a little bit of wood, not a massive amount. Yeah, because I need to. I can take them out then. So that's a waste of wood then. I'd previously worked these out so there's just a little bit of randomness in sort of the whips. Well, they're not random, they're just some are two, some are one wide, just to break up the theme a bit. Make it look like there are a variety of different buildings. So that gives you an idea. Yep, I think that looks pretty cool. I can probably hop up there through the... Oh yeah, I can hop up here through the roof, through the loft. So I can take these out. They can stay in place. Those ones can come out. One's across there. Across there, across there, across there, across there. Awesome. Now at this end here where there's this corner, I'm obviously going to have a roof here and a roof there and they're probably going to overlap. I'm not going to start on those ones today. I'm going to do this lot and then I want to have a go at trying to build that down there. That's going to be in, like an inn of things. So that's all right. So we're going to want some torches up here. It just stops the mobs from spawning once the roof is done that's okay and that roof will come all the way around so now what I can do is go down and do all the cobblestone I suppose what I should do is actually put some lighting in here because that is going to be an absolute mess uh, Just in case anyone's wondering, that noise in the ear was actually the the chatbot thanking me for using it. It's like, oh great. Yeah, I might make this room come all the way through here on that wall. So it'd be like really long building on the inside. Get some torches up like that, so that when we build, it's not too dark in here. That's cool. Right, now we'll use a load of cobble. 
which I don't have. But if I go up to my base, there should be a load of cobble up there. And I've got a message in the chat there from, oh my goodness, I haven't got my glasses on, Cyber Fortnite. Welcome to my stream and hi to you. And thanks for coming along and watching. I hope I am entertaining in some way. So as you're new here and having a look, this is my steampunk server. There is only me on here at the moment. And um, I'm looking to expand and let other people join as well at some point. And today I'm building a massive marketplace. I've been building all this stuff as well so far, as you can see, it's pretty massive. I think when I had a look, I'd spent about seven days, seven and a half days building on this server so far. There's quite a lot around in here. Um, oh yeah, that's it. If I go, oops, if I go up here, I can get in here and I can nick some cobblestone. That'll do. It's a bit laggy over here because there's a lot going on. In my massive burner. Just processing loads of materials. So I can get back to building this this house. And it now looks like I'm running out of food. Yeah, it does look fairly amazing. I think it's pretty good. Um, Something I have been doing is playing this in Optifine with one of the shaders packs on. And oh my god, this does look really good once you get the shaders on and stuff. However, unfortunately, I find that um, on my Windows computer, which is what I'm on now, that it's just not very good at doing the throughput and just just to render very well and it's just like trying to stream as well it's just really really difficult and i've come down here with no food so i'm gonna have to go and get some more food in a bit so let's work out so i might do a mirror image let's do the back walls first let's get those in place so this is a trading area for shops there's going to be loads of little farmland around this area. So how did I do that? I did that window there like that. So that will be a mirror of that one. And then in here, I said I was going to extend this all the way along. Like so. It's mainly to look nice. I mean, obviously, in a real shop, there would be loads of storage in the back here and loads more space and having these big blocks would actually is obviously taking up a huge amount of space doing it like that but in minecraft it means you can get away with that because you can just do stuff like use chests and you can store huge amounts of ridiculous quantities of materials in a chest and a shop can just be a counter and a chest and not have to worry about it too much I think that's looking too bad. Um, should I do this one? Should I mirror it again or should I just do something completely different? Break up the whole look so that I don't get too repetitive. It's like the builders have come in here and gone, oh, I'm bored and I don't like building this way anymore and we need to do it differently because I just feel like it. Thankfully, I haven't decided that any of my builders are going to come in here with a JCB because they haven't been paid. I don't know if anyone's seen that. If you're from the UK, you'll get that gag because there's been a bit of that happening. And this one again, I think I'll do back to that way round. Is it just me? Is it seem weird that I've done one odd one? But that's the idea of being a bit steampunky. That's one of the ideas I want to do is try and make this look a bit steampunk on top of the normal 
the normal look that you get. It's not looking too bad. Right, let's get some of these changed up. Oh no, I was going to do that after I've done the floor because it's easier to place them. Right, so that's them. Where's my materials? So, uh, Cyber Fortnite, I think I've got your name right there. What do you build? Come on in, ask me some questions. Feel free, you've got my undivided attention right now. So let's get rid of this cobblestone and stuff a bit for the minute. And where are my slabs? And I'm going to need a load more of them. Uh, I think I'll use half those for now. Because that's going to make me a ridiculously large amount of slabs. Look at that. That's cool. Right. Let's go up here. And how was I going to do it? Shall I make the stairs in each room first? I suppose I should really. should do that as well. I didn't make many of them, did I? Oak stairs. Have I... That's why I didn't use all my oak wood. Good thinking, you see. You didn't realise you were here watching a very high quality streamer, did you? Other than the fact I won't mention that this is probably my first proper stream. I've been doing quite a few videos. If anyone's interested, they can like go and check me out on YouTube. Same username. I haven't posted anything for a while. I was going to do that in blocks up here because we decided that we could see out the windows way better if we were standing on blocks. And we have to remember to leave that one out because otherwise we can't get up the stairs. And then we put a slab there so we can walk around like so. Fantastic. So that would be that floor. That's that building. So if we go in this one, again we can put our stairs in, like so. Hmm. I didn't think that through, did I? It's too far over. I was thinking in my head at the time, I thought, oh, I'll just move it over a bit further so that it looks a bit more different. And uh, then didn't think to myself that I'm actually like going to get caught out by the fact that it's in a different location. I think that's okay. Um, I build well on the Xbox, like cities, and when I'm in my dad's on my PC, I build kind of Aztec ancient stuff. I do like the Aztec. I've um, I've got another area. I mean, this is a very steampunky area, but I've got an area which I, where my spawn is, which happened to be in a jungle. And I put a little village of uh, breeding area there. And this other thing, what else is there as well? Um, it's sort of it is very Aztec -y. I tell you what, just for you, I'm going to pop over there and show you. I'm, sh I'm, sh I'm sure you'd like to see that. And it's actually good that, I mean, you, you're building, I mean, does your dad play Minecraft? Um, this is actually how I got into playing, because my two kids pretty much liked playing Minecraft a lot. And I just pretty much enjoyed watching them doing it. I think I play loads more than they do now. Oh look, there's my airship over there. That's pretty awesome. Um, so you'll notice I've got a mod on here. Oh no! Fell out the server. I've got a mod on here called Multi Portals, which allows me to leap around the world. It's one of the joys of having a server. So you can do things like this. Jump into my lobby world. I can jump places. So this is my Aztec -y area. So you can see I've got this, I've got a giant villager 
uh, iron titan type thing up there and I've got these these are supposed to look like villages there like that and then over here I built this like this little miniature Aztec well I think it looks like Aztec anyway you have to tell me what you think Yes, when I'm not there, he plays on the mods. Oh, yeah, okay, does he like playing modded? Because that's always pretty cool. So there's, there's this, like, secret ancient... I can't remember if I know how to get out of here, but, yeah, this is like a little pyramid. I might have to go into creative mode to get out, because I think I built an exit down here somewhere. I can't remember where it is. I don't know. I haven't been in this for ages. This is really interesting, Cyber Fortnite, that you've actually got me to come in and see. This is like this drop-down secret tunnel. And then you drop down here into this water. Oop! Ah, get out of the water. And then you've got this secret layer. And it's lit up on the inside here. And I've got some cobwebs and broken stones and different stuff. So like, let's leap across the water. This, I really like the fact that in 1.13 you can fill slabs up or stairways with water because this just looks really good that you can like put a step in here and then fill it with water. And even underneath the water there you can actually get a lot more texture. You don't get those silly air blocks. And then these, I just put some lamps in there. And then there's like a little redstone lamp in there. And then the idea is in there would be all my secret stash. And I was supposed to build a secret end exit. Like over here. Hmm. How was it I got out of here again? <laughs> oh no. No. I can't remember. <laughs> Oh no, what have I done? Um, yeah, I was supposed to build us like a secret exit over here in the corner. There was going to be like a button that you press and it pulls the wall back so you can get out. Um, so, Super Fortnite says, yes, he plays the Mr. Crayfish mods. They're good mods. Oh, I've not come across that. So I'm really going to have to apologise now, but I'm going to have to be like really cheaty and change to creative mode just so I can get out. Because <laughs> I never actually finished this. Oh no, let me get out. There we go. And we'll go back to survival. It was actually interesting, there was a video I watched today which was talking about inspiring yourself to keep playing Minecraft and what I thought was quite good about it was that he said it's okay to have like yourself opt on a server so that you can do all these powerful things and you can do maintenance on the server or do things that like when you get stuck like I did just there and you can get yourself out but the rule is, is carry on playing the game in survival mode. Because if you don't spend the time building this stuff, it can be, you know, it, it's just like, well, just like a model. You could, anyone could make it. But immersing yourself in time building this stuff. I mean, I've been doing this for an hour. Well, okay, it's not finished. I mean, I could have built it in creative mode in probably 20 minutes. But then I'd have been on to the next thing. Whereas doing it like this, I feel like I'm enjoying it more. I'm being part of the game. I'm, I'm thinking about what it's like to live here. What would these people do? How would um, they live out their life in this Minecraft world? And uh, so that's my, my inspiration, is to try and not cheat well I basically decided I'm not going to cheat in the game by doing stuff like that right so that's that floor done and then we've got one more along here 
to do. And we'll do that like a mirror image of this one. There we go, like that. Well, I hope Cyber Fortnite you are enjoying what you're watching and hopefully you can hit the follow button on that on that Twitch screen you're watching there right now. And feel free to go and have a look at my YouTube channel, which is also Mon PJC, and check that out as well. And you can subscribe. I've just finished doing a hundred episodes, and my current series is all about this world and what I've been building and things. Some of the videos I haven't put up, but I think they're reasonably good. I've been trying. I, I think I tried too hard to start with playing the game trying to make it too enjoyable for people. I was trying to follow other people's styles that they do on YouTube. I think I've realized that I just need to relax and get back to playing the game and just enjoying it. Should we have a window over there? I think we might do. Just, just there on the corner. Allow us to look out the back. That might be nice. There's something else I was I was taught as well when I was watching people play uh, Minecraft when you're doing interiors. One of the things to do is actually build from the your interiors from the inside where you want the windows. Not look on the outside and go, oh, it'd be really good if we had windows here or windows there or something. I mean, I just looked up there and thought to myself, it's going to look pretty all the same if they've all got windows. So I'm just going to knock that one out. But your windows that you put in here, you want to go, actually, if I was living in this room, I'd want a window out here. Having put that there now, I can't see anything. So would I have a window? I wouldn't. So fill it in. Would I want a window here looking down there? Yeah. From there, probably not, because it's right underneath somebody else's window. So it's sort of like, I think that's what I like about building it like that. It's um, building it thinking how you would live in this area. So there we wouldn't see anything. Here, would we want to be looking up at that? No. So I fill it in. I probably don't say it while I'm recording. That's probably the thing. This one, uh, there or there. See, that's definitely a better window to be looking through from there. I will just fill in those corners there. I'm getting through an awful lot of door, right? I do like these new textures. They're the 3.1 textures that you could that have been done that are going to be in 1.14 as standard and I saw on Hermitcraft, so Hermitcraft's one of the videos, uh, one of the channels and stuff that I like watching a lot I watch people like Exuma and they've decided on Hermitcraft that they're only going to use the new pack of textures, which I think is a really good idea because then they're building knowing what their new world's going to look like when they update. And I thought that's a pretty good idea. I'm going to do exactly the same. Right, so on some more of those, I just noticed I've got some slabs missing. So, Cyber Fortnite's left me another message. Yeah, creative bores me as I also like survival because you get a better experience and I have followed and sub it. Oh, thank you very much. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. I am very pleased. I will make a note of your name and at some point I'm going to build a followers and subscribers temple. And what I really want to do is like I don't know how exciting it actually is for people, but if I get people follow me early on in the game, I want to be able to sort of like thank them by adding them in my game, their names, because it's 
people like you that are interacting that actually make this experience way more fun for me because it's nice to sort of have someone to talk to that's interested about the game like I am and uh, it's just generally interesting you give a, an honest opinion of what you're seeing here I'm not going to put a window in that end I might regret that That's awesome. I think that looked quite good out there. This is pretty good. Right, now, I'm trying to remember how I did the next bit of the roof. Just got that wood all the way around. So let's get rid of the door, right? And we want spruce stairs and spruce logs. I'll take all of those. Probably going to need some more. If I use half of those, I'm probably going to need more than that, but I'm probably going to need some more s spruce steps. So if I take this lot, that should give me a reasonable amount. There we go. Um, yeah, so who else do I follow on YouTube? So, I like people like Exuma. He's probably the person I follow the most. I started out watching a lot of Minecraft. Those guys are pretty good. People like um, B00 and Good. I used to watch them quite a lot. And Chad. And uh, Iranian. Raelian, is that how you say her name? I can never remember. Um, they're pretty good guys. They're pretty interesting in the stuff they do and the games they play. Uh, Vex, I did like Vex. He's really funny in UHCs. Um, he's always derping around. I think it's because he just doesn't know how to take the game seriously sometimes. And he just like thinks it's too serious, so he just instant reaction is to like play around and be silly instead. I get like that as well. When I'm building like this, I'm I'm just fine. I'm just like me, just plodding along building. But um, when my um, girlfriend's on here playing with me as well, so I've got her into Minecraft, and I <laughs> it's quite good fun is uh, getting your girlfriend to play as well or your partner and um, she like proper tells me off when I'm doing things which is uh, some of our episodes that we've had have been hysterical um, there was one where she's uh, doing stuff where oop, I can't talk and place blocks very well at the same time nearly fell off there um, I was criticising her mining. She said, I don't need a supervisor. Oh, I was just creased up with laughter. I think other people found it funny as well at the time. But yeah, it's way more fun when you can play with other people. I think that's what people do. But as time's gone on, I've changed the sort of people that I watch on YouTube. And I think that's mainly because I'm sort of my interests have changed or as I've learnt the game and decided what it is I want to play within it so people like Exuma have been more interesting to me to follow whereas I didn't really watch him at all at the beginning uh, Il Mango he was someone that I found as well he does these really awesome complicated type build stuff as well and uh, that's pretty awesome. Now that's going to be door right on the end there. So I don't need to put anything there. So let's see how much of this roof we can get done. Hopefully it won't take too long. The corner's going to be interesting. I'm never very good with corners. I always feel like I could do a bad job. 
I'm getting um, carried away now. Oh no, I've just thought, I'm going to get to that corner and I'm not going to know how to go around the corner. <laughs> this is what I do. I get carried away with the build. Because um, that's going to be like that. That. And that one's going to be there. That's it. I did put it in the right place. Like that. Yeah, not very good with corners on roofs. If you look on the roof up there, there's some places up there that's absolutely horrendous. I do not know what I was doing. I look at them afterwards and I think, it's a good job you can't really see them from the ground. Because <laughs> he's like, oh, no, that's not good. Right, so if I do the same here, I need to sort of like build my corner so I know where I'm building to. Like that. So I don't get too carried away. It's just working stuff out. It's just that one there, like that. I think that looks right. I'm sure Cyber Fortnite will point out if I've gone wrong anywhere. As I said, it's really awesome that you've come along to have a look and see what I'm doing. We're not far off. Getting this done, I guess. Looks reasonably good. It's not the most. Oh, I've run out of blocks. Okie dokie. Let's, let's go and fall down in here somewhere. Go get a load of more spruce blocks. So, what do we want? Some more stairs. Some more blocks. I've got quite a few stairs. Let's half that. That'll do. And let's grab some of those and just make some stairs out of them. That'll do. Uh, which was the best way up? This one, wasn't it? Because I've got an actual loft ladder in this one. There we go. Oh, little jump. Oh. Okay, no one put... Oop, oops. Oopsie. Um, no one pointed out that I didn't put a loft ladder up into the loft to get onto the roof. What are you planning on building after? So, after I've built these bits... My next build is going to be the, the hotel, basically, or the inn, which is going to be down there. Can't really quite see it from here. I'll show you on the end here. Down there. So there's going to be this big hotel inn type thing. So when people come into the inn, this is called the inn ward. So I should explain this. So up there at the top, where we've got the the castle keep up there you can sort of eat, just see it eat, up there in the distance there's a wall all the way around it and the the bit that you go into when you go there there's a drawbridge if i can see it from there just there where my cruise is there's, there's a drawbridge so if our lord or our champion was under attack he would be able to escape into here and there's going to be how like steampunky building houses go on the top here as well and they could retreat up there this is then called the mid ward well, that's what castles call it and this is where like his main house is where he entertains his guests there'll be a chapel there'll be all the horses coming and out and there's we've got this trading market area down here that we're building and then outside this wall is going to be the main city or the outer wards. So there'll be another wall around it to protect it. Because one of the things I was thinking about was with the whole uh, 1.14 update with the villages and pillagers, 
if I've got villagers walking around in here, they're going to come under attack. So what I wanted to do was fortify this and make it into like a living city with villagers wandering around so that we can like have it so they're being defended from the pillagers when they want to come and attack my village or my city. So that, yeah, that's generally the idea. This is loads of stuff. There's loads of markets and stalls and butchers and bakers and shops to make. I mean, I, I built this world based on the idea that I'm thinking that I'm going to be building it probably for years. I mean, one of my inspirations is Efo um, and his world that he's built. And I think he only restarted his world once, from what I can remember. He's been building for like six years in one world. And I thought that's just amazing. You see the amount of stuff he's built, it's fantastic. It's just loads of it. And I thought, when you're here in survival, like we were saying earlier, is says, you know, you just take your time, build everything in survival, and you get some really good stuff. And I can just take my time and I can build huge amounts. I don't know what that was. It's a big... Oh. Looks like my partner's come home. Hello. Hello. Just so you know, I'm live on the internet. Oh. Why did you say hello? Uh, because you came in and they could probably hear you come in. <laughs> Hello. Um, so, I think I said earlier my partner plays Minecraft as well. And you're Halo Phoenix, aren't you? Yep. You didn't expect to just walk in and uh, suddenly be on the internet, did you? Not really. No. Didn't really warn you, did I? So, what are we doing? We're building um, my What's stuff. That? So, oh, you're wondering what's going on here. So, just so, so Cyber Fortnite has been uh, chatting to me. Oh, cool. Hello. And <laughs> he's awesome. He's been asking questions and stuff oh. and keeping me busy. Oh, cool. Uh, we're building the trading area. So, these are all going to be trading shops. Oh, right. Okay. I'm just about to think I finished the roof. Well, I've got this end bit to do. Uh, let's pop down here and show Halo what we've been doing. So if I run over here, we can get a better view. There we go. Oh, wow. It's not bad, is it? That's awesome. Ah, Cyber Fortnite says hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I should have built wood on the end there because I'm just looking at the end of that roof. Oh, yeah. And I've got stones to go on the end of it. So, yeah, so it's sort of a bit steampunky. These are all going to be little shops. All oh, right. As such so I think they look quite good and then when you go inside we've got the stairs go up and then the windows I've been positioning I've been talking about where I position the windows so that you can sort oh, of see cool. down that'll be a road all the way down the middle there mm. and there's a loft ladder here which lets me up and then through <laughs> here it's a bit of a dodgy loft at the moment Very. We can sort of like get through and do the building work. Wow, you guys have done loads. Well, no, it's not bad, is it? It's pretty good going. So, right, I've got to build. Oh, cool. I'm going to let you guys get on. on the end. I will leave you to it. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. What is it? Uh, Cyber Fortnite. Cyber Fortnite. Sorry I'm if sure I got that's... that wrong. I'm sure, I'm sure that's how you say it. I'm crypto. Not... <laughs> Isn't it Crypto Fortnite? Is it Crypto Fortnite? It's crypto. Have I got it completely wrong? Oh, I'm sorry, but hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> I, I guess what I should explain is how I actually do my setup here. So the computer that I've got is a, it's an older machine. It's running an i3 processor which is not the most modern, up-to-date thing in the world. But normally what I do is I play Minecraft using Linux. 
but I've had problems with the software, so I'm actually running tonight on my Windows because my computer's dual boot, and that allows me to run Streamlabs, which then allows me to do the streaming that I'm doing here. But I've only got one monitor. So to do that and be able to see what I'm doing with Streamlabs, I actually have my iPad plugged in on a USB cable to my computer. And there's this really cool app called, I think it's called Duet, Duet, or something like that. And it allows you to link your computer to your laptop, uh, to your iPad and make it look like a second screen, which is really, really useful because that means I can have uh, Streamlabs running in that. But then I also found that <laughs> it's the screen isn't big enough to be able to read chat on there. So I've also got my mobile phone open looking at the chat on my channel. <laughs> it's, it's a complicated setup and one day when we move all this will be much easier to sort out. And so crypto Fortnite says yes it's okay you can say that say whatever you want for my name. Uh, I think it probably is supposed to be crypto Fortnite. It's just I haven't got my glasses on and I am trying to read on as I said my mobile phone so it's a bit small. That's my excuse. So I am gonna finish this bit of roof off. And I think that's probably about as far as I'm going to go tonight. Just to warn you. Cool. Like that. And... Right, so I need to get some... I need to switch over from wood to stone now, don't I? So let's get rid of these. And we need some of those, and we need some of that. We don't need that. Door right. We need the door right. It's amazing how many people hate door right in the game. But like this, it, it's just got to find the right texture for it to go with. And then it's not so bad. And why did I... I've done it again, haven't I? I've built it so that I can't get back up. My God. Sometimes I just do not know what I'm doing. Right, can I make that jump? Oh, look at that. Awesome. Right, so we want a, a stone brick there. Did I do that? I did do the stone brick the other way there, didn't I? Like that. And then we want a stone up there and a step this is mon pjc concentrating so i don't forget what i'm doing i'll just drop down there and i'll do um, do that in a minute because i'm going to do that one like that and that one like that. So I'm interested, uh, Crypto Fortnite, just before I uh, go off, how long have you actually been playing Minecraft for? That's an interesting question. So I started playing back in 2013. So you'd think I'd make less mistakes than this by now, wouldn't you? <laughs> right, let's get rid of the dirt. There. Then all we need to do is put some door right up the top, and then I'll probably ask Halo to pop over here and see what she thinks just at the end before I finish. I'll come in and do the roof off screen, off uh, the stream, because it's uh, hardly an exciting thing to watch and these I was going to do the other way around wasn't I because they're 
blocks. Were they? Nope, I think I just left those as blocks, didn't I? Oh, I can't remember now. I know they went there like that. Let's have a look. Let's jump down. Advantages of having big holes in the, in the ceiling. Yeah, I did do, didn't I? So I've got one block there, then a step. And a step that way. Have I built that one the same? Ah, okay. I need a step in that bit there. So, uh, Crypto Fortnite says, I've been playing since it first came out on the Xbox 360. Oh, that's pretty cool. We've got it on the Xbox 360 as well. And I honestly have found it really difficult to play on there. I'm not great with the whole console controls for something like Minecraft. It's just so used to using a keyboard and a mouse. So that is what I'm doing tonight. And I'm going to take a screenshot of that so that when I post this up on YouTube, you can see what it's like. Uh, Halo, I don't know if you can see this from there. What do you yeah, think? That's pretty cool. That's not bad, is it? I think I've done a reasonably good job. It must take you ages. Um, it's taken an hour and a half. Wow. It's not bad going. Excellent. So that's brilliant. I like that. Uh, let's take my hat off. Teamwork. Teamwork, yeah. yeah. I did. I did get some a lot of help. So... Thanks very much for uh, joining me to watch and Crypto Fortnite for coming along and entertaining me and keeping me company. Um, I'm really glad that you came along and watched this. Um, I know you've now subscribed and followed me as well. So next time I do this, it'd be really cool for you to come along again and uh, see how I get on with the build. So as for now, good night and see you next time. Bye.